Imagine being a turtle, not just any turtle, but one of those ancient ones that lived for hundreds of years. You know, the ones who've seen more history than the oldest human has ever lived? Picture it, you're munching on your favorite seaweed salad while watching the Roman Empire rise and fall, witnessing the discovery of electricity, and even seeing the first man land on the moon. Now that's a lot of history. But what if, instead of being a wise old turtle, we humans could live for 1,000 years? So, you're not a turtle. You're a human with a potential lifespan of 1,000 years. Sounds cool, right? Well, hold your horses, or should we say, hold your turtles. Now, imagine waking up every day for the next 365,000 days. That's a lot of mornings to grumble about, right? But it's not all doom and gloom. There are some thrilling aspects of living for a millennium. You'd have all the time in the world to master every skill you've ever dreamed of acquiring. Want to learn to play the piano? You've got time. Fancy yourself a master chef? No problem. Want to learn all the languages in the world? Well, you've got a thousand years, buddy. But let's flip the coin here. Imagine working for 700 years before you can even think about retiring. The word weekend would probably lose its charm after the first hundred years, don't you think? And let's not even start on the wrinkles and the age spots. You definitely need a lifetime supply of anti-aging cream. Also, the thought of outliving all your loved ones and friends might not sound too appealing, huh? Imagine celebrating your 700th birthday and not having anyone from your generation around to understand your jokes about rotary phones or floppy disks. Sounds lonely, doesn't it? Then there's the environment to think about. If everyone lived to be a thousand, our planet would be bursting at the seams. The resources we're struggling to conserve today wouldn't stand a chance. But hey, you'd have the time to come up with solutions for these problems. And just think about all the history you'd witness firsthand. You could tell your great, 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 great grandkids about the time when people used to drive their own cars or when we thought Pluto was a planet. So a thousand years of life could be a blessing or a curse, depending on how you look at it. But what does science say about this? All right, enough with the jokes. Let's get down to brass tacks. What does science say about living for a thousand years? Well, buckle up, folks, because this ride is about to get sciency. Recent research from the world of biogerontology, that's the study of the biological basis of aging if you're not up on your science lingo, is exploring how we can extend our lifespans. They're not quite promising a thousand years yet, but hey, we're getting there. Now, you may be thinking, are scientists trying to turn us all into ancient turtles? Well, not exactly, but they are looking at creatures with exceptionally long lifespans for clues. Greenland sharks, for instance, can live up to 500 years. That's half a millennia. And they don't even have to deal with taxes or rush hour traffic. One promising avenue of research is studying telomeres. These are the protective caps on the ends of our chromosomes. As we age, these caps shorten. And, and when they're gone, the cells can no longer divide and they become inactive or die. It's like the biological equivalent of running out of coffee on a Monday morning. So. Scientists are trying to find ways to stop or slow down this shortening process. If they succeed, we might not become thousand-year-old turtles, but we could potentially add a few decades to our lives. So it seems like science is still working on our thousand-year lifespan, but in the meantime, what do you think about living for a millennium? Ooh. As we wrap up this adventure into the world of thousand-year lifespans, let's take a moment to ponder. Would you want to live for a thousand years? Imagine you could watch a tree grow from a tiny seed to a towering giant and then watch it again and again and again. You could read every book ever written, twice or maybe even thrice. But then what? You'd probably have to start writing your own books just to keep from getting bored. Picture this. You could celebrate your 250th birthday and still have 750 more to look forward to, you'd need to buy a bigger cake, that's for sure. But jokes apart, it's a question worth pondering. After all, life is about quality, not quantity. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting the like button. And if you didn't enjoy this video, well, show us some love by, you guessed it, hitting that like button anyway. So in the end, it all leads to that like button. Thanks, folks.